Hi, I'm Tracy Margeson and I work in learning and organisational development at Art Centre Melbourne where I have the great privilege of managing the Arts Wellbeing Collective. And today I want to share with you a hot tip about using semantics to alter your negative self-talk. We all have those moments when we're beating ourselves up because of something we said or did and our negative self-talk takes on a life of its own. Suddenly that stupid thing that you said during a meeting turns into the demise of your whole career. So how can we use semantics to intercept this? Let's say you said something embarrassing and your negative self-talk starts. I am so stupid. I can't believe I said that. They're never going to want to work with me again. I've completely messed up this project. And intercept. Swap I am so stupid for I said something that made me feel a bit stupid. Swap they're never going to work with me again to they know that was one stupid idea in amongst a lot of really good ideas during a long project where I've contributed heaps with people who know and trust me. Use your self-talk to shrink what happened rather than expand what happened. Try asking yourself some follow-ups. Was it really that big a deal? Did, was everyone actually listening? Did anyone react? Did anyone notice? Did anyone comment? Am I overreacting? The more follow-ups you can ask that continually shrink the actual incident, the more manageable it will seem. Watch out for those big words, the I am's, I always, I never. Reframe with, I will work out how to do this. I have lots of skills that I can bring to resolving this. I will be able to sort this out. Or even, I'm not sure what to do yet, but I know who I can ask for help. You can also try calling out the negative thought as just that, as a thought. So I'm thinking that I'm always stupid, but I know that I'm not. So it's just a thought. You had that one. You had the I'm always stupid thought. So you can have another one that counteracts it. You can have the, but I know I'm not thought. You're capable of that. If it really does seem like the biggest thing in the world and all the semantic reframing just isn't going to help, remember your own growth mindset. You're not a fixed being. You're constantly growing. You're constantly learning. So you can't change what went wrong, but you can control how you respond to it and what you learn from it. So instead of beating yourself up, embrace what went wrong and say, thanks me for the learning opportunity. It might feel ridiculous, but essentially that's what it is. It's just another learning opportunity. What can you do differently next time? What skills that you have do you have that you will draw on to act differently next time? What skills will you draw on to fix this particular issue? And if you're still struggling and you've still got that negative self-talk happening, think about whether you would speak to your best friend the way that you speak to yourself. We would rarely say half the things we say to ourselves, to our best friend, or even to a stranger. So have a go at treating yourself with the kindness that you afford to others. I hope you found this hot tip helpful. And if you'd like to find out more about Art Centre Melbourne or the Arts Wellbeing Collective, visit artswellbeingcollective.com.au. Thank you. 